Okay, I wanted to make a short video here about uh, modifying a plastic grill on a car. Uh, the problem I have here is on my 69 Camaro that I've been trying to get ready to paint forever and ever it feels like is when I went to put on these new fenders and the door skins that you buy nowadays that are made in China nothing seems to fit very well. So what I had to do is after hours and hours and hours of trying to get the gaps right and get the doors in close enough so I'd have decent gaps I never could never could get the gaps right in fact you can kinda of see here this panel how how large the gap is uh, and it's that way on both sides of this of this particular panel because you can't get the fenders in far enough because you can't get the door in far enough so everything lines up so I finally gave up and ended up welding and I've got Bondo still to do but now you see the gap uh, the gap is nice because I had to weld a small rod to the edge of the door here same thing with the hood on both sides I had to weld a small rod uh, one eighth on this side along here and then on the other side it was more like uh, three sixteenths to get the gaps right. So, long story to get to the point here. As I get to the front of the car, well, guess where else I got nice big gaps? I got nice big gaps right along here where the fender mounts up, uh, or I should say the grill, where the grill mounts up to the fenders. So, we've got these gaps all along here that were, gosh, I mean, well over a quarter inch. Wait, totally unacceptable. So I started thinking, well, how, what can I do? Do I need to weld more metal to that fender, which was going to cause a, kind of an odd shaped little edge here, which I didn't like. So I finally came up with the idea that I should modify the grill, or the grill shell, I should say. And this is plastic. So I started looking on YouTube and I started thinking, well, what's the best plastic uh, epoxy that I can use to make a small extension, just enough to where I can fill that gap up, you know, about probably about a quarter of an inch along here, a little bit on the top. So I thought, well, let's try some of this uh, epoxy uh, for plastic. What I did is I made a little, uh, on the other side it's a little nicer, I haven't done this side yet, but I made a little lip out of clay that would just cradle the epoxy and let it set there till it hardened and then that would give me that little extra lip that I can, I can fine tune and shape to fill that darn gap. Well, this is where it didn't work out too good. What I used was the JB Weld and it's uh, JB Plastic Bond. And what I liked about this is one of the things it said, it, it fills gaps. Body, body panel adhesive and gap filler. Sets in 15 minutes, 30 minutes to sand. Uh, and I thought, well, a gap filler, that sounds like what I'm trying to kind of do is try to fill a gap up. So what I did is I made the little mold and I put the, the epoxy on and I let it set up because I thought well it's pretty thick so I let it set up for about three three hours and this is the back side now the back side you know there's my that edge that I'm trying to build up and it's fairly hard I mean it it's it's pretty I can't even I can't even indent it with my nail so it's pretty hard and I did clean it with alcohol. I, I, I sanded it first so the, the plastic would be rough and it'd have some bite. But I, it didn't work out too good because as I peeled this off, now like I say, this here, it's that, see, look there. See, I can, I just touch it and it's trying to, it's trying to come loose. And then up here at the edge, I actually had to just put some tape here to hold it because it just, see, it just, it didn't stick very good. Um, so I'm going to say that this was a, a fail. 
Uh, I don't think even once I clean this up and like I say it's fairly hard but it's like ah man do you do you maybe it'll get harder as it dries longer but uh, it's not really adhering to the to the uh, original grill plastic very well at all so I don't think this is gonna work so uh, that's a fail on this this JB plastic uh, epoxy and I don't know I looked at all kinds of I looked at the permatex I looked at a bunch of videos online and I thought well they all seem and there's not you know there's not really any stress here except that uh, you know I wanted to crack I don't want to finish the paint job and then this crap peel off so I don't think that's gonna work um, I think what I'm gonna end up having to do which I should have done in the first place uh, I'm gonna have to fiberglass it and which is kind of a pain I hate you know I've done a lot of fiberglass but it's always messy and I think that's gonna be the way it's gonna have to go build that build that lip up underneath there and then I can I can of course the, you know the bond doing the sanding and all that crap you know and I'm spending hours here just for that stupid little gap and it all comes back to this crappy stuff that we get from China now and I don't know, maybe I'd been better off now looking back. I'm just trying to work out the original fenders and, and doors. You know, they they had some Bondo and dents, and I thought, well, I want it to be straight. And uh, I'm not the best body man in the world, but I thought, man, I'll, I don't think I'll ever get that as straight as I want it. So, you know, I don't know. Like I say, now, I mean, you see this side, it's it's got to be repainted. This This paint, we started this paint, and then... With all the other issues I've had, I'm gonna I'm gonna respray it. The back I've got you know the quarter panels on. I did both quarter panels. They turned out good, but good lord, I'll never do that again. That took countless countless hours. But I want it to be straight, so I put new panels and new door skins and new fenders. And you know if I can ever get it done, it, it should be nice and straight. But Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little heads up on that. That didn't work too good. That's a fail. And uh, take it for what it's worth. All right, thanks for watching.